A couple of weeks ago, Amy and I were away to go to the graduation of our youngest son. It was a, a beautiful spring day in eastern Tennessee, and, um, and it was just a great time for us and a couple other family folks to, to be together to celebrate with him and each other this, this great milestone for him. And, you know, as, as I think about that, I think about for, for those of you who are graduating or those of you who, who talk to and listen to people who are graduating from high school, from college, or maybe from a, a training program or school in the military or for a company, um, with that, I think there's always a sense of, of excitement and, and relief and gratitude, but often also a little bit of nervousness, uh, maybe a lot of nervousness, maybe fear because of, of the unknown of what's, what's coming next. And uh, e even if you've, you've got a good plan, you've got a good job lined up, or you know the next schooling steps that you're taking, still there's a sense of, of boy, I, I hope it works out okay, right? Well, friends, one of the wonderful things about the God that we meet in the scriptures is that he's not just a little local provincial God of a particular place and time and people. Um, no, he's the God who, who revealed himself in history in Jesus and who created the universe. He's the God of all times and all places and including the places where, where you're going next. And one of the great lines in scripture that reminds us of this is this line in, that, that God says to Joshua in Joshua chapter 1. As Joshua is, is uh, well, Moses has just died and Joshua is now, he's got to step in and lead Israel and lead them from, you know, where they'd been for 40 years into this new, new home. And here is what it is that God, God says to him. He says, be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Now, why, why does God tell him not to be terrified? probably because he was terrified. <laughs> he's terrified because, my goodness, you know, he's got to go from being the right-hand man to being the man, to being the one who's going to, going to be leading Israel in this new new step. And, and, and yet, what does God say to him? He says he doesn't have to be terrified. He doesn't have to be discouraged. Why? Because the God who had been with him in the past, been with him in the wilderness, been with him with Moses, says, I will be with you wherever you go. Well, friends, this is true for, for you as you graduate as well. As you're, you're leaving that, that place where probably you maybe you've, you've first met and had a good experience with God, with this particular school, this situation, this family, this church, you're now you're leaving that situation. Guess what? God isn't just a little local God who's only in, in that place, in that school, and with that family, and with those friends, and in that church. No, He's the God who created everything. He's the God of all times and all places. Yes, he'll be with you wherever you go, even if you go on a motorcycle.